another addiction palette eight look for you guys and of course we got to start with my brows using the mood struck precision brow liner in dark and then taking th that revived orange color and of course my little card trick that i have showed you guys a million times and creating that outer line with that color and then once you take that card away it is so crispy look at that so beautiful and then you can start blending back and forth and bringing that into the inner corner as well Taking that blending brush, just kind of go back and forth along that edge just to kind of seamlessly blend the two. And then moving in with that Wondrous color and my fluffy crease brush, just building some extra dimension on top of that orange with a little bit of that yellow. Then taking that Reverent Cream Shadow and using that doe foot applicator, we're just gonna draw it on the lid. And then using your ring finger or your pinky finger, you can kind of press it in. And then if you need to, you can also take the cream shadow brush just to kind of flatten it and prepare it for the shimmer to come. And there's my little Remy Roo. <laughs> Using the Invincible Gold Shimmer color of the palette, you can pat that on with either your finger or using the brush, and then this is where it gets fun. This part of the step is optional depending on where you're trying to take the look, but I really love adding in this profound warm brown color just to add a little bit of depth to the outer corner and really make that crease pop. So just taking one of my Morphe brushes, I don't remember the exact number of it, but I just kind of worked that. And then just kind of going back and forth between the other colors with the yellow and the orange and just making sure that everything's blended flawlessly and then also bringing some of that red and that orange down below as well, just so everything ties together perfectly. And whoa. <laughs> Here we are going to take the lash primer and cover those lashes, get them all prepped and conditioned for the mascara that we are gonna put over top of it. And as you can tell, it makes a huge difference on my lashes. And I am actually starting with the 4D mascara, which is our buildable fiber mascara. It has Y-shaped fibers within the formula. So they are going to continue to build on top of each other every time that you add another coat. Or if you want something a little different, we've also got the new Twisted Mascara, which has two wands in one. So I am actually going to start with the bigger wand first, just to kind of piece and get in between all those little lashes that maybe I missed the first time. And then going in with the smaller one, I like to kind of press it at the base to create a little bit of like a stamped liner and then kind of work it on up as well. And this is great for the lower lashes too, so you don't get them messy and you can get all those hard to reach areas. And then I'm just going in with one final coat of that 4D mascara as well because they both come in the beauty box, so I might as well. Wiggle, shake, twist, and boom. Look at those lashes. And there is our final look. I absolutely love how this look turned out. The palette may look daunting at first, but trust me, y'all, this is absolutely beautiful, and I cannot wait for you guys to play around with it as well.